Today we are going to talk about midterm rentals, not to be confused with short-term rentals for just a few days or a week, not to be confused with long-term rentals, either six months or a year. We're talking about midterm rentals. So rentals that are 30 plus days. And the nice thing about midterm rentals here is that even if the home is located in the HOA, they cannot allow you to have a rental if it's more than 30 days. So we found a great niche for this market and I wanna talk about it because we've been having a lot of success. I had clients purchase a home last year for their vacation home from their for their family. They used it all summer, had a great time, but realized that during the year they were just not going to be able to get out here as much as they wanted. So we converted it into a midterm rental. So the house is already furnished because they had spent, you know, been here for the summer. So it's got all your basic items, your coffee maker, your, you know, your all your linens and bedding and couches and, you know, beds. And so we just, we made it into a long-term rental. I mean, I'm sorry, midterm rental. So um, we got professional photography. We did all the proper protocols, cleaning, maintenance, got everything ready to go and got it listed on Airbnb and Furnish Finders and Zillow and a bunch of other sites. And we've had success. We had um, a client come that their house had flooded and they needed a place to stay while they, it was getting remodeled. And so they stayed two and a half months. We had grandparents come to visit their children and their grandchildren and wanted just to stay besides, you know, a week or a few days. So they stayed six weeks. We've had um, inquiries from traveling nurses and doctors doing residency, um, people that really just want um, a place to that's clean and to call home and for a few months why they are doing the things that they need to do. Um, the nice thing about San Diego is we get... Because of our year-round climate, we get people from the Northeast and Canada looking to escape the winters for multiple months at a time. Um, and then likewise, in the summertime, we get people from Palm Springs, Arizona, Texas, looking to escape the heat and want to spend some time out here because our summers are 74 and sunny. So really, it's a year-round between you know insurance, uh, corporate, corporate housing, um, you know, just the weather, people traveling doing extended stays, there is a really nice niche market for this. And it's really not that difficult. Um, you know, following the proper protocols, marketing, you know, keeping the house tidy and maintenance and clean and communicate, you know, keeping the communication going. Um, you can really make a nice way to supplement your income while having this investment property. And if you want to come visit and stay and use it, we just block off that time and work around it. And it's been a real success. So, I just wanna let people know that it's not as hard as they think it may be. And I'm here locally, if anything goes wrong, if anything, you know, I need to meet a plumber, I am here, which takes the ease and burden off of the client of having to travel or worry about that. So if, you, if you're interested, or if you just wanna see if it's a possibility, or run the numbers, or think that it, it can or can't be done, I wanna talk more with you and see if it makes sense for your situation. But it's a great way to have an investment property, build equity while supplementing the, the mortgage and your expenses. So I am here, DM, message, text, call, see if it's a possible option for you and we can explore it further. Until then, have a great day.